I've assembled a group of audio experts and I've dubbed them the Council of Excellent Ears. That group, along with me and you, are going to help determine what's the best budget dynamic microphone under $50. And I've picked the four most positively reviewed dynamic microphones under $50. Those microphones include the Donner P08, the Zoom ZDM1, the Fifine K669, and the Mayono PD100. This challenge is comprised of three rounds. Round one, the Council of Excellent Ears will cast their votes, ranking each of the microphones from first to fourth with a first place selection, giving the microphone four points, a second place finish, giving it three, a third place, giving it two, and a fourth place finish, giving it one point. The microphone with the most points wins. Then I'll give you my order, ranking them from fourth to first. And then after you've watched the video, you'll cast your vote on the community page. I believe this will be the closest we can come to a definitive answer on what's the best budget dynamic microphone under $50. The participants received raw wave samples of each microphone. While I can't replicate that accurately here, I can give you the four sound samples without showing you the microphone. This is microphone number one. How do you like the sound of microphone number one? This is the natural sound of microphone number one. There'll be no post-production done on this sound sample. This is microphone number two. This is the natural sound of microphone number two. How do you like the sound of this microphone? There'll be no post-production done on this test. Now I'm going to switch to the third microphone. This is microphone number three. How do you like the sound of microphone number three? This is the natural sound of the microphone. No post-production will be performed on this sound sample. This is microphone number three. And here's how it sounds. Here's microphone number four. This is the natural sound of microphone number four. How do you like the sound of the microphone? There'll be no post-production done to this sound sample. How does it stack up to the first three microphones? This is microphone number four. That was the sampling. Now I'll reveal which microphone was which. Microphone number one is the Fifine K669D. Microphone number two is the Donner P08. Microphone number three is the Mayono PD100. And microphone number four is the Zoom ZDM1. Out of the Council of Excellent Ears, I pulled from five respondents. From professional broadcasters to podcasters, voiceover artists, and more. Here were their findings. The first respondent had the microphones listed in this order. I'll go from fourth to first. In fourth, he had the Donner P08. In third... The Mayono PD100. In second, the Fifine K669D. And in first, the Zoom ZDM1. The second respondent had them listed in this order from fourth to first. In fourth place, he had the Mayono PD100. In third place, the Donner P08. In second place, he had the Zoom ZDM1. And in first place, he had the Fifine K669. The third respondent had it in this order, from fourth to first. The Fifine K669D in fourth. In third, he had the Donner P08. In second, he had the Zoom ZDM1. And in first, the Mayono PD100. The fourth respondent had the Donner P08 in fourth, the Fifine K669 in third. In second, this respondent had the Zoom ZDM1, and in first, the Mayono PD100. Things started to get really dicey here as the Mayono PD100 started to pick up steam. Whereas initially, I thought the Zoom ZDM1 was going to run away with the competition. However, with the fifth and final respondents 
selections in. The results are as follows. In fourth, this person had the Fifine K669. In third, this respondent had the Mayono PD100. In second, this respondent had the Donner P08. And in first, the Zoom ZDM1. So if I tabulated the votes correctly, the results are as follows. In fourth place, it's the Donner P08. In third place, we have the Fifine K669D. In second place, the Mayono PD100. And in first place, the Zoom ZDM1. I'll keep reiterating this throughout the video. Obviously, this is based on my voice. Always purchase the microphone that works best for your voice. If you are paying close attention to the results, you'll notice that the Zoom ZDM1 never finished past second place. So it allowed the microphone to stack up a lot of points, giving it a total of 17 points with the next closest microphone at 13 points. Now it's on to round two, and I'm pretty sure you know how I'm going to score them, but let's do it. In fourth, I had the Donner P08. think it's a great microphone, very smooth sound, the best built of all the microphones by a wide berth. Looks absolutely fantastic, sounds just fine, and I'd be totally satisfied with this microphone if it were all I had. But it's in my fourth place microphone. In third, while I love the darkness of this microphone, the Mayono PD100, I felt like it did not accentuate some of the higher end frequencies on my voice as much as the second place mic did. Although this is on the borderline, the Fifine K669D in second place is on the cusp of being sibilant on my voice. I do like the brightness of the microphone. To me, it has a really nice sound. Although, like I continue to say, there's just that hint of sibilance. That's why I like using it with the Rodecaster Duo. It allows me to turn on that de -esser and takes care of that problem instantly. And I think it just has a really good sound. 37 bucks, it's an amazing value. However, on my voice, I truly believe that the Zoom ZDM1 sounds the best to me. It's a smooth sound. There's not any shrillness. It's not too boxy or like I'm talking into the, a bucket or anything. It has a nice balanced sound on my voice. And for 50 bucks, I think it is a phenomenal value as well. I'll reiterate that all of these microphones are fantastic, especially for their prices. You couldn't go wrong with any of these. I would recommend all of these microphones in a second if somebody asked me my take on any of the four. They're all great microphones. Just on my own personal voice, I think the Zoom ZDM1 sounds a little bit better. Now it's time for round number three. What do you think? Based on my voice, what was your take? What was the winner overall? You can vote on the community page right now. Just head to my home page on YouTube and click that community tab. Cast your vote for one of the four microphones for the number one spot. And also in the comments, you can talk about what your four picks would have been. And we can just have a fun discussion in there. I know sometimes when you have to rank things in order, it can be a little tense, but this is just done all in fun. And this was the closest I think I could come to having a truly fair competition. However, there's always room for improvement. A microphone really isn't much without a good audio interface. Check out the video on the screen now to see how I help people pick a good audio interface for their needs. So check that video out. I hope you enjoyed this fun competition. I'll talk to you in the comments. And as always, thank you.